What's up, everybody? I wasn't here last time, but I'm here now. So Monday, October 12th, 9.40. Today we're going to review Chapter 10 of Memory and talk about life. Okay. And this is my student. They just finished full break. Okay. So we are reviewing. So this will be your job. Let me see. I don't want to be too far, but I don't want to be too close. Okay. So when we review... I want you to think about three things. Because we talk about memory. So I want you to tell me what is memory. Then I want you to think about how the memory process. And then why. OK, let's go through these three things. I'm not going to go through all slides, but I, we may go there to see if we say right. OK, so what? What is memory? How the memory process? And then why we forget? Right? Remember this. Okay. And also, this is also the way I want me to. You know, when you review your your lecture, that's how you come out with some big idea. Okay, so let's start it from what is memory? Anybody want to try? What is memory? Yes, Eddie? It's only the yes. Uh Eddie say the ability to retain and retrieve our information and also structure the account for the capacity. That's definition of what memory, right? And then also, what other thing about memory we should know? What other thing about memory we should know? Hmm? What, what things about memory? Remember, memory is not perfect, right? Memory is not perfect, right? And then we also say sometimes we are confused. Confused about what's going on, right? So there are two kind of things we confuse. One is we confuse about if something happened, I really remember all from other results. What's that called? Huh? Flashball is one type of memory, but then for this, if we confuse what the fresh ball, how do I know? What we call? Yes? Misattribution. Misattribution. Even the, you know, fresh ball memory that Harry said, because people keep talking about it, so you kind of like, is that I really remember all the people talk about? It. Okay. And then another confuse is, is this happened to me or happened to other people? Start with C. Start with C. Confabulation. Okay, so that's the memory. Okay, so we know, so we, we see there are this construct, even flexible memory, but then we are confused about what happened to me or other people called confabulation. Okay, and then we say that can be the reason because we think too much, easy to think about it. Okay, and then we say eyewitness. Is that good or not actually that good? Not that great. Not always great, right? And we say the younger the kids they are, the more likely can be more vulnerable, right? Okay, very good. Okay, and then we talk about uh okay now let's say how do we measure the memory maybe that can go to how how do we measure the memory how what i'm doing right now <laughs> what i'm doing right now recall right and recall is part of we call explicit explicit memory Right? So you have to intentionally put in 
So when I ask you, you intentionally print out, call, report, right? Or if I give you the multiple choice and ask you to recognize, then it's called what? Uh, recognition. recognition. Recognition, right? Or I can use, you know, I show you some words and later I say, hey, give me the word similar to that. Then you more likely to come out the same words. What we call that? Priming, priming. Or if I before the um, the class, you know, I ask how much you know, and then I start to reteach. And then when I reteach, you say, oh, I know, I know, I know. So then original, we may take one hour to teach. Then when I reteach, you take twenty hour, twenty minutes to fit to 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 understand the whole thing, and that means you relearn. So I can say, oh, my student actually remember because now I take less time to teach. Okay, and that call implicit. Okay, got it. Okay, then so let's see. So we talk about this. Okay, so then oh, then we say, how do we remember it? Right? How do we remember? And we talk about encoding storage and then retrieve. And then my favorite is about three bucks. Okay, three bucks. What's three bucks? Before I show it, what's three bucks? Everybody remember how do memory process? What's the three boxes? What's the first box? Before that, uh, sensory. S sensory. Okay, the first called sensory box, right? A sensory box is do they have any? Uh, what's the what's the capacity? Large or small? The first box, very large, but they stay very short. How long they stay? Three? Two. And half. Right? If you hear that, two seconds. If you see it, half second. Okay? So that's sensory register. Right? And because they are large capacity, but they stay very short. Okay, now. The second box is Haley just mentioned is short term memory, right? And so if you pay attention, you do something, then hopefully that information get to your short term memory, and they stay a little bit longer. How long they stay? Thirty seconds, right? And then for that thirty second, they are you need to do something, right? Like chat. Right, and then what's the magical seven? What's the magical seven? We say the lens for keep for people able to keep and then hopefully send to long term memory have certain lens, and we say they have a theory called magic seven. Magical seven is what plus minus what? Seven plus minus two. So that's between five and nine. So they call chuck, right? And also they have another memory inside the short term memory call start with W. Or what what she do during the break? What she says she during the she what she did during the break. She's working, right? So working memory, working memory, okay? They are exist in short-term memory, but you need to pull out from where? Long-term memory, right? Right now, if you remember the memory, you pull out from long-term and say, okay, now, Dr. Lo talk about memory. What's that, that, that? That's called working, working memory. That exists into the, inside the short-term memory, okay? And then hopefully, you know, by you work as a chalk, okay, magical seven, then the information you want to learn 
they are saved to get to your long-term memory. Now, what happened for long-term memory? How good a long-term memory? Unlimited space, right? And they also set in an organization way, right? Okay, so let's think about their organization. Let's think about organization. How do you, in your memory, they have a different category. One is called what? What kind of memory? Like knowing how. What kind of memory called knowing how memory? Style is P. Paul C. Jer. Okay, procedure memory. Okay, let me give you this. Okay, so we talk about three bucks. Okay, three bucks, right? And then we say for the long term memory, we have this. We have this. Everybody still remember this? Right? So that's how all your memory exists inside your long term memory. Just like your computer, they have a folders. They have folders. Okay, if you learn how to dance, if you learn how to play sport, if you learn how to fix car, right? If you know how to make your English sentence or the sentence for the language, I believe they are more like procedural memory. You remember how. So right now, when you are writing, you don't have to like your first grade teacher teach you how to structure the sentence because you already know how. Okay, so let's proceed your memory. What's another side? What's this side? If this is a procedure, what's this side? Let me cover it. What's this side? Start with D. Declarative. Declarative is knowing what? Knowing what? This is knowing how, this is knowing who, knowing that, knowing that, right? And knowing that also in divide into two kind of memory. One is what? Your personal story, right? We call it uh, episodic, right? And then another one is like, you know, how many presidents, you know, how many presidents actually was born from Ohio? Do you know that? How many American presidents actually come from Ohio? Six. Six? How do you know? You learn that, right? And it's his semantic. That's in their semantic memory, okay? General knowledge. General knowledge, okay? And also, you know, like, what, you know, what is the first capital in Ohio? Who you know? Where, where, which city is the first capital? capital? Um. Chiracati. You know Chiracati? It's a very small town right now. It used to be capital. Mm. Mm. And then Columbus. I don't know any other thing. But anyway, some people are very good with this. I'm not too good. But some people are very good with this. Okay. So, let me test your short-term memory. Give me this organization, I just say it. In our long-term memory, what is in this side? Knowing how, what kind of memory? Procedure. Procedure. Another side, knowing that. Declarative. And inside the declarative, know your personal story. Absolute, and then knowing that, semantic, okay? And now, now you don't need to teach your own memory. They organize it for you. They organize it for you, okay? But then we also say when we remember the thing, something we remember better than another, right? So if you then first, then you maybe remember the most. What we call what kind of effect? Pro, pro, 
Prime what? Primacy effect. Right? If you done first, then you remember the most. And then they also say if you learn the last, you remember the most. What we call recency. Right? Remember this chart? This chart? They call the the serial position effect. Right? If you learn the most, you learn the, learn the first, then you remember the most. Or if you learn the last, you remember the most. So when they recall how much you know how much item you are able to recall and they find the people they recall usually the first few item and the last few item and then something in the middle like, oh, what are you talking about right so then i'm joking say you are the first child your mother remember you the most or you are the youngest child you're a middle child parents say i don't mm, i'm not sure she just grow up he just grow up. I don't even know how, right? And that is the 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 position of the item because your item. So then I say, if you are studying for your final exam, make sure you have your each chapter have to change to be your first child, and then each chapter have change to be your last child. So you change to familiar with all the material. Okay. Okay. So that's how. Okay. And then we also say sometimes we kind of uh, kind of remember. I know right now maybe a lot of you like T O T, right? Say, so, oh, I kind of remember that, but, but but what's that? It's it's layer, right? Almost layer, okay. And then we say, okay, we already had all this, okay. Oh, but what I'm doing? I'm I'm what I'm doing? Okay. Ooh. And then we talk about biology. Okay. Uh, okay. If you are here, last time, I know you. Many of you actually here. Okay. And then we talk about the bread. We talk about the bread, right? And which bread in charge for what? Anybody? If you can recall this, I really I have to bow to you. Yes, Hedy? Frontal lobe is short term memory. Okay, is Hedy correct? Let me put the words here. Okay, frontal lobe is short term. Okay, what else? What else you remember? Who, who is the one is for the recording which one is for recording the information when the information comes in which part of your brain yes yeah anybody agree with her right because that's in the very front of your brain so if something for the register sensory register okay everything comes to your mind comes to your mind so we say recording Okay. You have to able to record, recall, or we say in call, right? Okay, then after this, so you have encoding, maybe I should say encoding. Okay, and then short term. Okay, then where they go? Where they go? You say hippocampus for what? Long term or short term? Long term. Okay, and what, what, which other part long term go? Cerebral cortex. Yeah, cerebral cortex, long term go here. Okay, and then we still have two places, two things. What memory go to amygdala? Emotion. Emotion. Very good. Right, and then how about this? What's the better for? Hmm? Something we learned from chapter 7. Classical condition. Good job, everybody. Everybody wake up because of brain. That's good. Okay, so this is the biological part of memory, and that's very important, right? So actually, let's go back here, and I assume, I believe everything we say is correct. Okay, and that is very important information. Okay, 
And also, if you think about people, they got old China, right? Or they got a brain damage, or sometimes you watch the movie or it's real life, somebody have no short term memory at all. Uh, one student actually, she got, you know, um, some accident, okay? And so she used to be 100% good memory. And then after that, she said, she can be in the class and remember everything, but then when she go home, she forgot everything. So she actually had to come to class early before the teacher arrived, review it, so then when teacher do the review, she can recall. You know, and she said, I hear that, you know. But you know, good thing we are human beings, so hopefully that can recover gradually, okay? But be careful. Take care of your brain, okay? Because no matter how hard you try, if your brain is not working, it's very um, painful. Okay, so, but then we also say, beside the brain, actually our hormone, actually also influence us, okay? Act memory, and no act memory. And we say actually the moderate level is the best. Moderate is best, okay? Then we talk about how do we remember. Okay, now we go to, we still in the how. How do we remember? How do you remember the thing? Hedy, how what make you remember? How? How you remember those stuff? Say again. Reread and rewrite. When you do that, when she do that, she's rehearse. She rehearse. Right, you rehearse, and if you keep rehearsing, you know, then you you encode. Okay, of course that I know a lot of you have a notes there, so you encode, then you rehearse, then you retreat. Okay, and so that's what we do, right? Maintain, rehearse, elaborate, rehearse, and deep process it. Okay, and then actually I want you to not just maintain, rehearse. I want you to even more elaborate or deeper processing. That means you think about anything to do with yourself. So, oh, that's how I do it. And even talk to people, okay? When you go home, did you tell your parents about whatever you done in school? Do they ask you? They don't ask you. <laughs> Try to be not sure of, you know, but you can tell your parents, hey, I just learned this. They maybe never have a chance to learn that before, so you'll be the teacher for them, right? Okay, but anyway, then we say mnemonics, right? And actually, last time we talked about, you know, we learn rainbow, right? That's how you learn rainbow. And then we talk about music, so actually, I go home and double check. I find it's this, right? You learn, and when you learn music, right? Then your teacher want you to remember this E, G, B, D, F, and then so they come out as e, uh, every good boy deserves fruit, something like that, or deserves one. one. Yeah. Right? Right? And so, if how many of your teachers actually you learn this way? Mm -hmm. You learn this way, right? Okay? And then actually, I didn't learn this because that's English, so in that time I don't even know English, so I don't think your teacher. Do. So our teacher. Just ask me to remember E G B D F. I said, oh, why, right? But then when I see this, it makes more sense. Okay, this call what? Dynamic. So that's sometimes we need to use something to remember the information. Okay, then why we forgot? So now let's go to why. Why we don't remember? Now if you. If we are reviewing and you kind of like blank, 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 what can be the reason? What can be the reason? Because you didn't use for four, five days, right? So if one of the theory what we forget is if we don't use that, okay, okay. Remember, look, look at this chart. The moment you remember, the moment you start to forget. Very quick, very quick, okay? That's why we have to be, if something very important to you, 
then you really need to do something. Hopefully not forget, right? Okay, so one of the reason called decay. What's decay? What do you remember about decay? What's decay? One of the reasons say, the reason we forget is because decay. And what is decay? What's decay words in psychology in this chapter? If you don't use it, you forget about it. Retroactively. Yeah, it's decay. That's one of the reasons why we don't remember. Because if you don't use it, it's gone. It's gone. Okay? And one another reason called replacement. Okay. So for example, if you originally remember, you know, that in in the in the uh, the end of your street before you turn it say ill. Okay. And then people keep telling, no, 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 actually it's stop sign. It's stop sign. And then after you learn this, you maybe forget that actually it's ill before. Okay. So for example, one of the place right now I might on my way used to be stop sign. So people always need to wait for the, you know, who should come full comfort. Right now they have traffic light. So after a while, when later people recall about that street, people will not remember they used to be stop sign. People may say, oh no, they always have a tra traffic light. What do you mean always? Not always, always, right? And so that's called replacement. And then actually we are quite often, you know, we will replace, right? Like your O O O O O phone number or your O O O address, right? Or your O O O student ID, something, right? Because some other stuff replace that. So in the part of memory it's gone. Okay. Another thing we call the reason we don't remember because interference. Interference. Okay? And there are two kind of interference. Anybody remember? One is your new something you learn now interrupt you recall something you learned before. <coughs> it's some another kind is something you learned before. It make you hard to learn something you learn now. Okay, retreat, repro, and and ret retro. Okay, and then I think I, I give the example when I learned English in Taiwan. They give us Chinese translation. Okay, so then when I try to learn English, it's hard. Like I just cannot get rid of the Chinese translation. So no matter how hard I try, I cannot come out that real, real, real pronunciation. Okay, so give me an example. Do you know how to say, do you know how you say slipper in Japanese? Do you know how to say slipper in Japanese? Slipper. Because they learn from English and they speak in Japanese way. So now you know one Japanese word is slipper. How do you say? Slipper. <laughs> and you know how to say tomato in Japanese? Tomato. tomato. <laughs> okay. So then like this, if they if they in Japan already say slipper, tomato, and they come to America and then you say, no, no, it's a slipper and it's tomato, will be very hard. Will be very hard because they already used to yes. Huh? Sleep, sleep. I don't know how to say sleep in Japanese. I don't think they have that. I think the reason they have the sleep back to make up because they have a hard time to find pronounce the R, the um, the, the R R sound. So ever R they become L. But why you why you ask about sleep? Huh? I want to do hmm. I don't know, but I, I know Chinese is Okay, let me let me teach you how to say I love you in in Chinese. You want to learn that? 
Very easy. Very easy. Okay. Now, what's this? What's this? Okay. All oh, right. All. Oh. Okay. Let's say Chinese word have a four time. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. So when you put all oh, in the third time, it's a oh. Everybody say it together. Oh. Okay. How about this? What's this? I. Okay. And going down. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, going down. Okay, so how to say this? Wo, I. What's this? Okay, ni, right? Okay, going to check mark. Say it this way, ni, ni. So let's say together. Yes, wo ai ni. Easy, right? How to say I love you in Chinese? Right? And if you find you have a hard time to remember those tongue because English don't have uh, 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 uh. but you should, at least you remember I need. <laughs> right? Okay, so well, before we finish the class, I'm going to ask you again. How do you say I love you? In China. Okay, now say one more time. Wow. Wow. And this is real. Okay. This is real. I think did you say you are learning Chinese? Korean. Or oh, you are learning Korean? I, I was at the point in time. Okay. How to say I love you in Korean? You still remember. Sometimes. Sometimes, right? Sometimes you still remember. Right? So when you are learning different language, sometimes can be interference. That's why I try to associate the things you know into the words and hopefully they help you able to connect. Okay? So another one we say I don't remember because you are not in the same place. Not feeling the same way. We call Q-dependent forgetting. Q-dependent forgetting, okay? So for, for example, when you are so sad, you tend to remember everything you are sad about. If you are so happy, then you tend to recall every happy, happiness moment, okay? And sometimes you, you, you get to know somebody when you are in the party, and then after that, you forget about a person. The person says, "How do? What do you not remember me?" You say, "Can you tell me the cue? Give me the cue. Where do I meet you?" They said, "Remember last Saturday? Last Saturday? What? Remember somebody's house? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you because they give you the cue. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes, you know, that's why I give you the, the first letter." You know, hopefully that first day that help you to uh, remember the stuff, okay? And so sometimes you forget because you forget the cue. You forget the cue, okay? So in the future, when you, when, you, when you want to reconnect with me after the class over, you can say, hey, Dr. Lo, I'm in your, you know, Monday class, psychology. Remember I sit that in the corner? Remember I sit in front of you? And then the best time, best way, you send me the picture. And I said, oh, okay. For example, if Saudis do a lot of Abdullah, <laughs> or they send me a picture, I want to know which Abdullah, you know, which Mahama, right? Or we have so many Judy, too many this, this, this. Then I, give me a cue, give me the cue. I usually pretty good in remember the cue, I remember the face, but sometimes the name after a while I may be not necessarily remember. Okay. Okay, and then we say, so we didn't talk about this before, but it's only a little bit. Now, some theories, especially Freud, talk about the reason we don't remember because we repress. We repress, repress. If they are so painful, they are so painful, and you don't want to 
recall, you don't want to think about it anymore, you repress, you repress. So for example, if you have trauma situation, okay, for example, car accident, okay, and they are so trauma, one of the reasons you can say they not you not remember because they are not no, they have no way to get to your long term memory. Because they are interrupt when you are processing information. But Freud say it's not naturally the process, it's more like there's a trauma or they are because psychogenic. Okay, so that is the reason for that. Okay. And so that is repression. Okay. Now what he, what what can be replaced happen? Okay. They say if a person claim memory on the first or two uh two or two of life, first year or two of life, uh how do we not remember? How do we not remember? Freud say, well, we repress. Okay. Then here, let me let me get to here. Okay, the actual this is the, the one I want to talk about. You know, that first two years memory, we say the miss, missing years. How many of you actually remember your first two years of life? I remember I asked, asked many of you say you don't remember until you get three years old. Okay, so why? Are we really think the baby is stupid? I don't think so. Okay, this couple reason for this. First one is, the brain development is not get to the process we say prefrontal, you know, all this. It's not 100% formed yet. So there may be stored somewhere, but it's hard to retrieve. It's hard to retrieve, but actually our body remember. Our body remember. So don't say you can do everything to kids. They don't remember. Well, they don't know how to say it, but actually they remember. Actually they remember, okay? So that is brain development. And then the cognitive development, because if you don't know the language, you it's hard for people to remember the day. And the baby for those two years, they only know very few language. They are not able to label the feelings. They are not able to label the events. How can they remember the way you want them to remember? Okay? And another one is social development because they are, they are in touch with themselves. They're not in touch with other people. So then, when you are ask them the way we ask as adults, they don't know how to recall. Okay? So the point here is when we call childhood amnesia, okay? Don't just assume during those two years your brain is blank. No, your brain is not blank. Okay, so for example, how do you know you should scare of spider? Maybe during those two years, something happened and your brain remember. Okay, so remember when we learn about classical condition, that little upper cry when he hear the big noise. That's that time, little upper only in a couple months. Okay. How did he remember? Well, his body remember. His body remember the big noise with the with the white uh, rabbit. Okay. So and it's just a I don't know how this couple slide come in here. It talk about encoding rehearse retreat there. Okay. Okay. So if you give me one word about memory, do our review up to this point. Give me one word from the memory. Something you learn from memory, huh? The whole chapter. What? The whole chapter. The whole chapter. Yeah, whatever. Just um, pick one thing. Retroactive interference. Huh? Retroactive interference. Okay. Give me the... Huh? Okay. Give me one thing you learn from this memory. Huh? Okay. Give me one thing you learn from the chapter memory. Short term memory. Okay, short term memory. Give me one term. Okay, give me one term. Okay, 
Can you untap? Yeah? You can. Huh? Okay. You okay? Okay. Huh? Okay. 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 And how to say I love you in Chinese? Why? <laughs> okay. If you forget everything, at least you remember. Or I mean, you can tell your 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 love, your family or your friends say, Oh I mean. And then when people say oh I mean, you say what me too, right? Oh yeah, I mean. yeah is mean too. Oh yeah, I mean. Right? Okay, how about you ask people because oh is me, me is you. So you want people ask people do they love you? What do you say? Then you reverse, right? Start with this, right? Me, I, wo, and then you can say ma, ma is question mark. So how do you, how do you ask people do they love you? Me, I, wo, ma, then they will say wo, I, ni. Okay, so wo is wo, wo is wo. This is you. Okay? Easy, right? Okay, now let's go to. Okay, let me start this one and so we can start a new one.